welcome to the Roulette. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Ford Joan. Yo. And Jason Amherst. Big wheel keep on turning. And a Billy Carter. Hi, everybody. Hi, I'm old style Bobcat Goldthwait. And, and we... I'm new style Bobcat. <laughs> yeah. The more, the more pla- fl- uh, placid. I almost said flaccid. <laughs> You did. Hey, we don't. We don't know. He could. Have, he could still get his wheel up. Exactly. Spinning the wheel, finding out what we're playing first. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All righty. It's the biggity, 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 it's the biggity, 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 biggity Mac Daddy and the diggity 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 Daddy Mac. So. If memory serves correctly, back on the N64, you could actually play this with two controllers. Yes. Really? Yep. Hmm. Twin stick shooter. Oh, oh, well, yeah. I, I am playing with a controller that has two sticks, so... Yeah. It has technically... Yeah, this uh, Robotron is like... Uh, if you made ADHD into a video game, uh, <laughs> I'm dead serious. The original? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This uh. Uh. Let's go into this. This guy looks a little. Uh, oh no, Albert Fudge! He's falling. Oh dear. I mean, yeah, because you're using the C buttons to shoot, but the C buttons on this controller that I'm using are a stick, so it's a twin stick shooter. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, you know, I I played this a couple of times back in the day. I remember now. Yeah, this is actually going to be this is actually going to be fun fun little game. Do you? Okay, let me see if you guys agree with this or not. This kind of looks... Oh, that's not something oh, I can pick up, that, I guess. That is bad. This kind of sort of looks like um, Intelligent Cube for PlayStation. A little bit. The grid, the grid I should say, not the... Uh... Not the gameplay. Oh, yeah, this yeah. is what you call a... This is what you would call a horde game. Mm. It's just hordes and hordes of enemies. You horde! I'm at you. Yeah, come at me, bro. Don't tase me, bro. And by bro, I mean Vince Russo. And by bro, I mean bro, 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 bro. And by bro, I mean Judy Bagwell on a pole. Is this a power-up? That is not a power-up. All right, nope. sweet. Oh, cool. Look what you did. Hmm. You know, I'm looking at these, uh, oh, say, gems. Oh, okay, you died. The uh, lists of, like, hidden gems on the Sega Genesis to kind of buy stuff for to use for my Sega Nomad. Yeah. And a lot of the... This is one of the things that makes me wish what? that the video game retro bubble would burst. Because somebody on eBay is selling a copy of Toe Jam and Earl, yeah, for thirty three thousand dollars. That's fucked. That's bullcrap. That, no, no, what? that game's not worth that much. Period. No. Who, who had the fucking bocce balls to look at that and go, you know, I'm gonna sell this thing for thirty three thousand dollars. This fucking graded. The thing is, on eBay, you can charge whatever you want for something. And... Well, here, see, here's a secret that you you all might want to sit down for this. If you charge an exorbitant amount of money for something that really shouldn't be an exorbitant amount of money, you're not going to sell it. Just saying. Yeah. Period. 
Well, I mean, as long as people are writing shitty clickbaity articles about you won't believe how much this sold for, people are going to fucking keep doing that. This copy of Super Mario Brothers 3, with a shit stain on it, sold at auction for $8 million in Thailand uh, or something like that. This Disney VHS cassette is worth 11 bajillion dollars. If the penises are on it. This VHS copy of Rescuers Down Under is worth two billion smackaroonies. Holy shit balls. Just just for those of you who want to really know, Disney VHS are worth this. Yeah. Yeah. But they're nice to have. Well, now it's that a they're all copy on. of the Little Mermaid in its early stages, where they forgot to put shells on Ariel's breasts. <laughs> Here's an early VHS copy of the Little Mermaid, where Flounder calls Sebastian a Tolu. Yeah, I don't know. Wow. <laughs> Cthulhu. Cthulhu, baby. I didn't say the full word. Oh, Thulu. <laughs> That's better. I will smash you. <laughs> I must break you. Here's a rare VHS copy of Sleeping Beauty where Prince Philip puts his thong on Aurora's face. That's weird. <laughs> it's a rare copy of Sleeping Beauty where Philip gets arrested for attempted rape. <laughs> Hang on just a Goodbye. second. Did you did you kiss that girl on the lips without her consent? Mm. Cancel. What was? <laughs> a police, police siren. I'm sorry, my police siren sounds like farting. <laughs> That's the sound of the police. That's the sound of the beast. Anyway. Or it's this sound effect of a spinning tie. <laughs> or if Bridget the Midget it's on the your of, or, yeah. under, uh... or Bridget the Midget is sitting on Billy's lap. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I forgot about that. Hey, everybody, you know what else uh... is fucking worthless? Beanie babies. Those things aren't worth anything. That's true. Not anymore, they ain't. Haven't been for a long time. Really weren't worth much when they first came out anyway. Yeah. But people try to oop, you're dead. People try to make it a thing. Yeah, people tried to oop, you're dead. I mean, if you wanted to collect them just to collect them, then that's fine, but. Yeah, but when you start going into this beanie baby of a, of a butt is worth $33,000, mm -hmm. yeah. Then that's out of control. I mean, hell, just look look at the uh, Funko Pop bubble uh, bursting. Oh, oh, oh yeah. that bubble burst, big time. The, the fact that a bunch of them wound up like being put into freaking uh, storage containers in a uh, dump. You mean they pulled an Atari ET? Yep. Oh my god! I mean, oh you could only do so god. much. Yeah. I mean, you can only do so much with, you know, little plastic statues. Yeah, big and now thing. their big thing is, oh, give someone you love a customized Funko Pop. I'm like, <laughs> you know, I already have a Funko Pop of myself. It's called Saitama. I have one Funko Pop. and It's called it's, Voice Critical. It's, no, it's of Merlin <laughs> from Sword in the Stone. I, Jace, I got you a Funko Pop that looks just like you. It's Professor X. Oh, <laughs> My, uh, oh wow, Pop, it does look just like me. Emily got me a Funko Pop a few years ago for Christmas, and it was of Merlin from Sword in the Stone. So, Billy often looks at it and goes, Hawk and Chair, Hawk and Chair. It was a knockoff Funko do. Pop. It was a Funko Pop. It was a, it was a Funko? vinyl figure. It was a Funko. Of his funky uncle. A funky uncle. Wow. Cool uncle. It's, it's funny considering the fact that, like, 
all these other companies started coming out with their own knockoff like vinyl collectibles too, like the U2s. And those, and those ones that are in the soda can. Yeah, literally Funko making their own knockoffs. Mm -hmm. We made our own knockoffs. We just got rid of the middleman. I, I, I just prefer to buy Super 7 stuff. They're so much better. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because they make those retro-esque figures. I, I like, uh, I like just buying stuff from, like, Bondi. <laughs> Bondi! Oh, I, do. I, I, I buy the, uh, the Gundam kits, the smaller Gundam kits. Because I don't need a... Yeah, I, I like the SD Gundams. I don't, I don't need a 24-inch uh, robot sitting on my, my table. <laughs> I definitely you know don't I mean? need a 24-inch ding-dong. Oh, no. Hulk Hogan had his 24-inch pipe. What would I do with a 24-inch? Aggressive ways. Now, why would I want a model of Drake's penis in my house? I don't, I don't want that. <laughs> why would I want a 24-inch dong? What am I going to do with that? Row oh, a boat? Let me, let me tell you something. Row the Titanic? I'm going to say this to all three of you. If you had the chance to have a 24-inch if you had a chance to have a 24-inch Wii Wii, I don't think any of you would be like, nah, nah, no. There's not you a can't... woman alive that would ever want to be with me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. They'd want to look at it. They'd poke at it. But yeah. that's about it. Yeah. What are they going to do with, uh, like, you know, there the, 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 they can use They could use some of it, but what are they going to do with the other 21 inches? Exactly. You know, to be fair, yeah. there would be some complications when you're trying to uh, insert the key into the ignition. Yeah. There's a lot. Yeah. A lot. There's a, <laughs> too much key and not enough ignition. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Fun wow. fact, most women on average are about four to five inches deep. Any more than that, you're hitting yeah. a cervical wall. <laughs> and it's not comfortable for them. No. Fun fact... Anytime somebody says the word fun fact, God kills a kitten. Fun fact, fun fact, fun fact, fun fact. <laughs> Not the kitty! Not the dead kitties! Mike, stop killing all the kittens. Fun fact, fun fact, fun fact, fun fact. It's not like fun fight first. <laughs> this kitten's name is Jeff? Oh, oh, oh. That's ridiculous. That's the human name. name. <laughs> I'm out of the So it's a shouting match you want. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm not Adam Wee. Or am I? Come Whose on. number did you call? Don't Mr. call back here no. again. Uh, I guess they learn not still, to mess with still, Adam it's Wee. Still, it's still Mayor West, but it's uh, a different mayor. Now it's mayor it's Old West. West. Old West. It's actually kind of fun to do a Sam Elliott voice. It just got to sound real old like this. got to sound like this just a little bit. You know, sometimes all a man needs is a, a good dog, a light bear, and a coochie coo that won't quit. <laughs> you know, having a mustache is a sacred thing. That's right. It actually is. It really is. Wanna know? You wanna know why Tom Selleck is so awesome? Because he has a mustache. All Just you like need me. is a wet dog. Yeah, that was actually the plot of a Family Guy episode All where uh, Peter dog. gets suckered into getting a reverse mortgage from. Tom Selleck doing a commercial for it. All so he a... goes out he goes out to uh was it Tom Selleck? Or is it Bird Reynolds? Either way, um uh, who's the guy on Blue Bloods? Tom Selleck. Tom Selleck. Tom Selleck. Yeah, so him and uh Mayor West go out to New York City to the set of Blue Bloods to confront him of and apparently uh Mayor West and uh Selleck we're part of a country duo together at one point. 
All before he sold mustache. out. All you, need, mustache riders. all you need is a wet dog, a light cold, and a beer pussy. What? I think you got things backwards, son. <laughs> Sad me. Now listen up, fellas. This is Sam Elliott talking. Now I'm I don't mind if a man wants to bone another man, but for God's sakes, don't poop before you fuck. Because then you have to wipe poo poo nuggets <laughs> off the wheel. <laughs> That's true. Wants, don't it's nobody true. wants to clean that. Up. Nobody wants the poo poo nuggets. Oh, as I as my mama always used to say, wipe the poo before you screw. Oh God. Hey Billy. Yeah. Chase <laughs> forgot to wipe the poo before we screw. Speaking of hey, speaking of screw no. no. <laughs> No, somebody just pointed something out to me, and I hate it now. What? What? What they point out to you? Army of Darkness is an isekai. It is. It is. What? What is? What is that? Uh, isekai is the term uh, for a Japanese story where somebody gets sucked into an alternate world. <gasps> it's, it's usually one like of the easiest genres of anime storytelling. You take uh, nerd, you take nerd, you take And whoa, 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 whoa. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Bruce Campbell's not a nerd. He's a man. Okay. man. Well, you take, you take somebody from modern time and you transport them to like a medieval fantasy world. It's pretty much all the time. That's what it is. Yeah. A D&D world you know to be fair it has some genres like reincarnated as insert object here yeah i uh i like i like army of darkness i think it's a good movie oh, what oh yeah no movies, it's a good dude. movie it's just the realization that it's an american isekai it's like oh god no no never again no, 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 no. But it's true. I, I think somebody just said that in our Discord to force somebody else to take a shot. Because it's a running joke that one of the guys in this other Discord, every time we do our uh, rundown of upcoming anime for the next season, every time we have another isekai that we have to talk about, he has to take a shot. But he's right. right. You're just giving the poor man alcohol poison. But, but he's right. Yeah, no, like between the two weeks, because we, we split it across two weeks. Between the two weeks, he did something like 18 shots. Betwixt the two weeks. Tweaks. Tweaks. Two weeks. Think about that for a second. 18 shots. Yeah. That was for more than just isekais. That was also for convoluted uh, titles or convoluted uh, plot premises. <laughs> that there fellow looked like he... Or uh, sequels. Every uh, every three sequels. Hmm. Is there a, is there a yeah, plot game or is it just no, shoot the thing? This is a scoring game. Pretty yeah, much. It's, it's, yeah it's, it's, just, it's, game. it's an old Atari game. Oh, okay. You what you are that? a bald kid with a big head and you shoot the thing. Hey, I resemble so that one. You survive? So you're Charlie Briar. Um, you're, you're Caillou. Oh. oh, don't bring that little God. Up. Please. I, I, I am definitely not Caillou because then I'd want to die. I Do you hear the freaking noise that he makes every time he dies? I, 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 I think the only reason why that kid is that it doesn't get his head beat in by his parents because he has cancer. <laughs> I just made that joke, like, 10 seconds ago. Oh, really? You. That's his joke. I'll kill you. That's my joke. I'll kill you. Yeah. Billy, 
Joke yeah, theft is a serious crime, Billy. Oh. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Sorry, guy. Um, now, now, now I feel like Amy Schumer. That's my boat. <laughs> you feel like you feel like Amy Schumer. Amy Schumer. I, I was gonna say probably yeah, clean the feel cream more cheese like out of your vagina. Vincia. Then. What? What'd you, what'd you say, Billy's dad? Oh, I'll be right back. He's gotta go clean the cream oh. cheese out of his vagina. Oh. oh, oh ah. Mom, dad, then Mikey. Uh, thoughts on Robotron 64, Dane? That was actually pretty fun. It was an interesting little uh, shooter scorey upper. I was having fun watching it. Jason. I could do it without the sound effect of that. <laughs> Every five seconds, though. Yeah, because of Jesus. somebody dying. Yeah. An innocent dying. I can't skate. I can't scave them all. Yeah, no, I can't do that either, but I can't save them all either. I can shave them all. Uh, yeah, Billy's got to clean the cream cheese out. Um, Ew. It's a great. Yeah, it's actually a really fun twin stick shooter, especially if you have the two controllers back in the day. Of course, I have the. I, I have a modern controller that I'm playing these games with, so it's uh, great. If you if you can find this game and play it with a modern controller, you'll have a fun time. It's actually really fun. Scores out of 10, Dane. Seven. Jason. Uh, seven. I'm going to give it an eight. Yeah, how about them apples? Uh, those, neon eye, those neon colors were starting to make my eyes bleed. They were trying to make my eyeballs bleed. They were trying to make my ass bleed. That thing right. made my eyeballs bleed. My ass, it's yours. My ass, my ass, my ass, my ass. Hey, all right. My, my ass? Ooh, good game. Hey, this might excellent. Be a, this might be a decent episode. <laughs> I hope so. One day, Bomberman was walking along in the snow, apparently. One day, Momberman. <laughs> Momberman. Douche number one, douche number two, douche number three, and douche alpha. Wait. And a transforming douche. I feel like we've played this game before. Yeah, we actually played it through to completion on, uh, I think, very early in the reboot. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we, we played Oh, this. my God. Because I remember the joke of, um, uh, what the, Kevin Spacey. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we, uh, yeah, we played through this game in its entirety early on in the, uh, in the early days of, uh, of the, like last year when we were when we were just starting to do the show again, so this will be the one of the few games that we've actually played on both shows. Um, yeah, I don't. I'm not gonna watch that again. Let's do this. Okay. Ugh. Bombs, right. bombs, 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 bombs. I gave the other bombs, game a bombs. Bombs. <laughs> he did sell bombs a lot. He did. Ah. Ah. Oh no! It's a flaming douchebag. Oh no! It's it's a zonk. I felt like I opened a zonk. Oh no, blue spheres everywhere. What am I gonna do? Call Sonic. Not if it was rings or emeralds. These are just blue spheres. No. 
No, you need you need Sonic for blue spheres because you got to turn the blue spheres red. Oh, what, oh, what, oh, what, oh, what? It's the sound they made Whoa. when you turn them red. Congratulations, you got a chaos emerald. We certainly cleaned up this planet. No, you didn't. There's still corruption everywhere. Yes, because it's me. Ha 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 ha. Let's go with the Bomberman planet because we're stupid. Planet Bomba. <laughs> planet Bomba. Planet Bomba. I heard a uh, a nickname for Japan the other day. Really? And this was from Fillion, you know the the VTuber. Okay. She was playing that thing where you combine all those names together and try to get other things, other words. Okay. What a, and uh, she put fish in Japan and she got sushi. And then she mm -hmm. put Japan and sushi together and she got Sushi Island. <laughs> sushi and she Island. Goes, no. She goes, well, there you go. That's a, that's a nickname for uh, Japan, Sushi Island. Like, uh, not a bad name for it. That frame rate. I know. Explosions cause lots of slowdown. Do you plan to defeat them? Then I'll let you in on a secret. I've got a bone to pick with them. Because of the force field, there's no way they'll be able to get near, let alone get in the central base. If you destroy the four anchors to the base, the field will be deactivated, and you can destroy the base from within. It's asking too much to have you go alone, so I'll give you a hand. I'm a robot, but I don't think I have one of those things that you could give me a hand with. Unless you're looking at my antenna. <laughs> uh, what did I just walk into? An antenna penis. <laughs> Is is Jace coming on to Mike with robo penises? Because because he said I'll give you a hand and Palmer Man's a robot, but he's got the antenna thing on his head. Oh, kinky! Yeah, we played this game a long time ago. It wasn't last year; it was many years back. Well, I think we also played through it la this past year. Or last year. I don't remember. Let me, let me see. Oh, we played a Bomberman game on the uh, DS roulette last year. That's what it was. Technically. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Hi, I'm Bob. Hi, I'm Bob. <laughs> Bob, I'm hi. Hey, I'm big for Jimmy's Bob. Paul is. Who is Paul talking to? That's high. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. Hello, Jimmy Sprab. Would you like me to fuck you, Jimmy Sprab? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jimmy I guess Paul's getting a little more direct now. Jimmy Sprab, could I put my penis in your vagina? I know I'm like a leverage, but Jimmy Schmerb is her. Is it actually ever, has it ever been established how old those characters are supposed to be? 
they're like I don't oh, know. Man. I just find it hilarious that uh, Jimmy Neutron was created by the same guy who did Kong Pow. Uh huh. Oh. And Barnyard. Well, that explains a lot. And Barnyard. Mm hmm. Steve Odenkirk. Yep. Bob Odenkirk. No relation oh. to Bob, unfortunately. I didn't say Bob Odenkirk. I said Bob Bodenkirk. Completely different guy. So he's a sheep. So he's a sheep, then. Yeah. Because you said Bob. Bob. I'm going to teach you how to use the most important and powerful technique, the pumped bomb. <laughs> the punk bomb. So it's a bomb that just goes, oi! Oi, oi, oi! I don't want to fuck off. One you don't want to fuck off. off. No, I want to fuck on. Fuck on. Apply directly to the forehead. <laughs> Remember that? I do. They don't make commercials like that. Boom. No a boom. Well, thank God they don't make commercials like that anymore, because that commercial was very unsettling. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. And apparently that head on thing doesn't even work. It's, uh, it's quack medicine. I don't like to say. Wasn't it like a freaking capsaicin stick or something like that? I... I don't know. It's a good question. Oh, that's a good question. Oh, it's oh. A, it's a stairs right here. It's you a stair. It, it would have been just easier to put like... Like, joint cream on your forehead, but... You know what would be even yeah. easier? You know what would be even easier? Taking a fucking aspirin. Yeah, or Tylenol, or an ibuprofen, or... Good news! It's a suppository! Uh, then you won't have a headache no, anymore, but you'll have a pain in the butt. The pain is Good in your news, anus. Good news, everyone! This suppository, you put it in your anus! Good news! It's a suppository. Good news, everyone! <laughs> Oh my no! <laughs> Good balls, everyone. That's what I mean. Ten crows, everyone. He sucks. More booze, everyone. <laughs> hey, remember, everyone. Remember Them when I Jews. made that joke, everyone, and I broke the room. Them Jews, everyone. Hello. Small screws, everyone. Ebenezer Scrooge, everyone! Mongoose, everyone! Oh no! What's... He did... He detonated a Mega Bomb! Oh my word! Oh, yes, I remember. That's what he was supposed to do. Boom. Mm -hmm. You know what I... You know what I miss? Big League Shoe. Still around. Every time I yep. make that joke, you say the same goddamn thing. I know. You know what I miss? What? Big League oh, Jew. Well. But do you want to know what's going on? They did an episode of uh, Food Theory about gum, actually. Yeah. Yeah. About like, what gums last longest and stuff like that. What was the uh, what was the verdict? I think Big League Chew is one of the better ones, actually. Weirdly enough. You want to know one of the worst? Name it. I, I bet I, I, the first one that comes to your mind, the worst chewing gum with the flavored last. Uh, you know. mean the one that got discontinued recently? Yeah, fruit striped gum. <laughs> yep. 
Oh, God, this is about as bad as that time I had fruit stripe gum. Yeah! Oh, fruit stripe gum. Aw. Hmm. Uh, it, it, it was good tasting for like a millisecond, and then it was like... Yeah, I remember when I had it as a kid, too. That damn packaging. It was the colors, man. It was the colors, man. The colors, dude. The colors. It's like you looked at it, you're like, I, it tastes good, but I know I'm going to be disappointed because three seconds later, it's going to be all gone. It tastes good. I know I'm going to be disappointed. So it's like sex. Meanwhile, uh, you had the, uh, the candy Dum Dums, which had like next to no Dum marketing Dum. ever i love dum dum suckers is that why you like me because you're a dum dum you and a dum sucker dim. yep <laughs> um dum dum suckers are made um they, yes they are they are made you're right no the factory is not too far from my house about an hour away I like, uh, I like Pez. I like Pez 2. Anybody like Pez 3? Uh, at, when, when Pez went to space, that's where I drew the <laughs> Yeah. Then they did a prequel with Pez 4. Then they did a prequel. Mm -hmm. A Pez 3D? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was going to say without saying it, but... Mm. Stage 2. Stage 2. Electric Boogadoo. Uh, actually, thoughts on Bomberman 64, Dane? Actual thoughts? Yeah. Pretty good game. I like Bomberman. Bomberman is, is life. Bomberman is love. He's your Shrek? He is my Shrek, yeah. Okay. He, Bomberman understands the concept of love. Okay. Under, understand, understand, never mind. Honest day! <laughs> Dennis no, Leary. no, no, you fucking imbecile. <laughs> so Dane That's is not... referencing the funky uncle. Oh, That's right. the uncle. <laughs> Never mind. Yes. I'll explain it. I'll explain it in a minute. But yeah. let's keep going. Namaste, Dennis Leary. Uh, Jason. <laughs> so this is this is a great game. Uh, Konami is a shit company having such great classics like this in the vault uh this and Bomberman is one of the few games that they yeah but they own hudson oh that's fair yeah uh Bomberman is one of the few franchises that they actually still release games for uh, as they did put out super Bomberman r2 yes. recently and it is a good game but uh i wouldn't mind another 3D platformer uh, in the style of this, which we will probably yeah. never see ever again. Yeah. So, uh, Listen, but this yeah. is a great one. I'll take any Bomberman game over Bomberman Zero. <laughs> oh God! No, don't Gritty, remind me of those edgy Gritty days. Bomberman reboot, Dick. Uh, that, Billy. That, that generation was first generation. I, I, I prefer classic Bomberman games over many other games to be quite honest it's, it's simple play and uh good, good arcade action simple play because billy is a simple man exactly <laughs> okay yeah uh this is a lot of fun i i, I enjoyed bomberman 64 in fact i, I played through it on the show as i mentioned um not too long ago i keep thinking that we did this on i was almost sure sure that we did this on backseat gamer like last year I want to say mm. we did. We, it was a DS game that we played, not not this. We played the Nintendo 64 version. I know that we've played through the beat. A long time ago. I know. I know. I now need to look up 
my own playlists. Because I could swear we did play this. <sighs> but in any event, uh, scores out of 10, Dane. 8. Jason. 9. Billy. 8. I'm also going to go 9. <laughs> 9, 8, 9. Studios. <laughs> But yeah, what I was referencing earlier was uh, the song from Jet Set Radio. Ah, By Hideki yeah. Naganuma, the internet's uh, funky uncle and meme lord. Understand, understand the concept of love. <laughs> so who doesn't love Hideki Naganuma? If you don't like Hideki Naganuma, you have no life. We don't like the Dr. Numa Numa. Numa 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 Anyway, I can't find it, but I, I was sure we played through it at some point. I just don't remember when. Might have been. Oh, it was the old. It was the old Backseat Gamer. Now I remember. Yeah, we did do it yeah. on Backseat Gamer back in the day. The original run. That's right. That's right. Well, it only took us two episodes, I think, to beat it. Something like that. Something like that. I believe we only yeah. have one more game to play in this episode. Yeah. yeah. We talk about you, well, let's find out what it is. We do still have two Did vetoes, you know? just to put it out there. Um, mm -hmm. If we don't veto this game, we'll have three vetoes the next episode. Um, <laughs> three vetoes. However, I have a feeling that this might be a veto. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm gonna say veto. E e e e e e. As, as yeah, always, veto. as always on our show, vetoes have to be unanimous. Dane, Billy. Um. Yeah, sure, veto. Billy. I said veto. Oh, all right. I like the song though. <laughs> it's Blur's See? song too. <laughs> That's an, wow. that's an interesting song choice. Did you ever get your head shaved by a jumbo jet? Uh, I can't say uh, nothing's easy. It could be easy, but nothing is. I forgot the words there for a second. <laughs> sucky, sucky, five dollar heavy metal. All right, spinning again. Use the veto. We have one left. Oh boy. Mm. <laughs> License by Nintendo. Jace. Jace, that, that was down. the most evil laugh I've ever heard Jason do. That was a very, that was very unsettling. I don't know. <laughs> some some going on here. Ocean. Oh no! Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. The troubles I've seen. The special one is. Nobody knows. Um, challenge. Challenge. Defend. Defend. What the? Defeat. Defeat. Oh, she. The arms. Win. Your ass. Power. Speed, speed, skill, power, speed, skill, skill power, power speed, 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 skill, power, 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 speed, Mike, Mike, you, are you ready? I, I'm gonna, are you ready? ready? No, I said, are you ready? <laughs> uh, you know what? You guys can finish this episode yourself. Hey, if you're no, not going to take this. No, we can't. If you If you leave, I'm canceling the show. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> don't threaten me with a with a something like that, you turd burglar. Well, don't leave. What? what, what, what why? Why are I you holding me hostage? Because I said so. I'm gonna Whoa. call the police. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna call the police on you. No, you isn't. Yes, I is. No, it, you, you isn't. You know what? I got the phone right here. Boop, beep, boop, 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 boop. Hello, police. Why you say Could boopy you... poop? 
Poop, 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 poop. That's how I dial a number. That's how I, I call the police with my butt. I poop on the phone. And, and the That's police, right. The police answer and, and they go, why you poop on us? <laughs> stop, poop, poop. Stop throw, the police say, stop throwing acorns at us. We got Ryuji Abdul Pierre. Pierre, his last name is because my bladder is empty. Mm-hmm. Leon. Leon. Tomahawk, Leon. Melee. Tomahawk. Val- he played. Why don't play you come the angry- over, Valerie? Play as the uh, angry clown. Bob. Bob. He's from Brazil, which is BRA, so he's Bob, brah. Bob, brah. Ninja. Hmm. Ninja. Question. Oh, from from, from Sui. From Sui. I mean, that's Why obviously the Swiss push- flag, but. I'll be Boro. Angry football. Hey, hold on to your seats. Ready. Ready. Oh, this goes by this goes by a point system? Yeah. Ah. Yep. Okay. You need to fight harder. You need to oh. fight harder. Oh, oh, I, I have the police on hold. Hang on. Hello, police. Mookie, Mookie Rulu is holding me hostage. Could you come? Click. (laughs) Sir, this is a Denny's. Sir, this is a Wendy's. All right. Remember, folks, if you learn one thing tonight, if an acorn comes flying at you, you should fucking shoot everything. Okay? <laughs> man down! Man down! Mm, 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 mm. I've been hit! I've been hit! Boom! Ouch. You know, you know it's bad. You know it's fucking bad when Moist Critical's dunking on you. Oh god, that was too funny. Damn. That that cop was such a dunkle taunt. <laughs> it's true. I thought something hit my side. <laughs> like I nothing. Fucking even the squirrels are like, you pussy. <laughs> Yay, I won. You win. You won. You won. Just, and, and as a reward, Mookie Rulu, I will not call the Pulus on you. Thanks. We're not calling the Pulus. The Pulus? I know what? about the Whoa. Guy. The, the fuck? You, I, I guess. Oh, he fell too. Why did, why did you not get a point? That's, yeah, I'm wondering. That's dumb. That is dumb. <clears throat> this is actually a fairly inventive fighting game, I will say. Uh, honestly, it is. It is a. It is a very interesting fighting game. Oh, I, I avoided I'm, being thrown down. Honestly, I just, game, I just laughed because it's a very weird one. Is, this game is. I want to say this. This game doesn't suck. I was gonna say it's. It's. Oh damn! Wow. Yeah, this game is it's it's definitely weird, but it ain't bad. It, you know, it could have been worse. You could have with... been playing oh, Mace the Dark Age. That's fair. It takes something. It takes the the uh, fighting game genre and does something different with it, which is nice. Oh, he avoided it. Lucky bastard. Ha! Couldn't escape it. Doink. Ready. Now I... Now don't get me wrong. 
I am not a I am not fully a a cab. However, if you're that fucking paranoid oh. and you throw a goddamn fucking diarrhea God shit fit when an acorn hits you, you really shouldn't be a cop. Fuck, he beat me. Yeah. I'll admit that. Continue. So I'm going to continue. Continue, content me, content everybody. Okay. Oh, God. Damn it. I wasn't able to get out of it quick oh, enough. Yeah. I didn't hit the buttons fast enough. This tears, tears. Yes, tears. Keep in mind, I'm not having a bad time playing this game. This is actually fun. No, no. It. I think this guy like sequel, did it not? Isn't there a Finder's Destiny 2? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so we'll get yeah. to that at some point, because that came out on the N64 also. I should agree. I don't know if it was as good as the first one, but I guess we'll find out when we get there. But this is fine. I'm enjoying the hell out of this. What a good fighting like, game. Like you said, it's weird. Yeah, but, but I fun. appreciate that it... Yeah, nice. I appreciate that it did something different with the fighting game genre. It could have like... just been another fucking Tekken and, and been stale as shit, and it chose not to do that, and I appreciate I that. Kinda, I, I really do like um, games that go outside the box. Yeah, like even though we're is. fighting on chop of a giant box. On chop? On chop, yeah. On chop of a smoking. All covered with All gears. covered in blood. Oh. I, uh, oh, he <laughs> fucking reversed it into his own throwdown. What a... Poop f fuck. I don't know. What a poop <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Sir. What, what, what a poopy scoopy. What a pooper scooper. <laughs> what a shoopy do. Oh, he got out of that one. Thank God. No, you're not going to do that to me. Piss it. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Get no, 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 no. Fuck. No, no. Piece of shit. <laughs> oh, he piece. fucking took. He threw me. He grabbed me and threw me off. Ah, that's... Ninja's a bitch. I've heard that about him, too. There, eat a dick. Next, next point wins. Oh, you're not talking about the streamer. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not talking about the streamer. I don't give a shit about that dude. Who, Ninja? Yeah. He wasn't even nominated for anything at the streamer. Good. <laughs> He's nominated no, for knows, uh... biggest waste of breath to say his name. I win. Jeez. Iron Mouse uh, freaking winning uh, VTuber twice in a row. How about how yeah. about he wins biggest reason I won't play Fortnite? What? <laughs> he did one of the most cr he he was the, the 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 cringiest thing about that one year. Of, he's uh... the cringiest thing about everything he's involved in. What are you talking about, what? Lily? Or should I... Mike, did, did Ninja touch you inappropriately? Yes. No, actually, he didn't touch me inappropriately, and I'm pissed. Mm. I'm kidding, of course. Damn. <laughs> wow. Where do you get those? No, I just don't think... I don't, Bob, I'm just Bob not... I don't, I don't like Fortnite enough to care about Ninja, that's all. It's not that I don't like him, I just don't care. I prefer Ninja Ninja from uh, uh, friggin' Afro Samurai. Go ninja, go ninja, go! Oh Jesus! Wow! He's fucking well, tiger ninja ninja driver. Well, ninja was voiced by Samuel L. Jackson. That's why. That was straight up a tiger driver. That is just. That was just crazy, man. Come on, Bob. We gonna do. Bob, nothing. Come on, Bob. Kind of name is Bob. It's short for Rob. Uh, Brazilian uh, name apparently. I don't know how it's short for Robert. There's only one B in Robert. I don't know how you get two Bs from one B. It's like how do you get Dick from Richard? You ask nicely. You ask him nicely. Yeah. Son of a bitch. <laughs> 
Hey. Son of a bitchin' Bob. He bitch slapped me down. Bob bra beat you. Uh, okay. Bob Bob. Give one more college try. Come on, come on, Boro. Come on, Boro. No, fuck you, Bob. You fucking prick. Yeah, get out of my ring. You, yeah, get out, Bob. You You're fighting on top of one of those giant Mario blocks. Yeah, we're in the Gobi Desert. Fighting this shifting sand land. <laughs> So I get off on my pyramid that's shaped oh, no. suspiciously like a cube. A vulture took my hat. Oh no, <laughs> now you're going to take double the damage. Very good move. Watch out for the sand. Oh, I sunk. There's a cacti. Actually, that's just a prickly. Mm -hmm. It's a prickly. I don't care if I got to knock him out of the ring seven times to win this match. <laughs> He's such a damage sponge, you can't, like, freaking knock him out that way. Well, he, and he's so, uh, he's so way, oddly... Oh. Yeah, I, I was just say, the only way you could really, like, get a takedown... Oh, Jesus! The only oh. way you could really get a takedown on him is if you stun him, and... Because he's going to fucking just reverse everything I try to throw. Yeah! The bitch and a half. He's still, he's, a uh, he's, still a, he's still a point behind, so I don't... I'm not so don't, worried yet. Don't count... Don't count your ball sacks before they hatch. That's a fair statement. Hmm? Hmm? Oh. Did you say something? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yay. Ready. Fight. Oh, see what I tell you. Oh, say. Oh. I tried. I'm trying. We know you're trying. We're, 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 we're right behind you. Yeah. Ball. Eat all of our shirts. <laughs> yes, eat all eat. of our shirts. Eat the my shorts. Eat pant. Eat pant. Eat pant. Bart, get out. I'm pissed. Say what? <laughs> what? Son of bitch. We're tied. Was he Damn. Oh dear. Was he one horn? Yeah, Lisa were horned. Uh, Marge one. No. Oh you son of a uh, Wow. Good match. Thoughts on Fighter's Destiny, Dane. That was pretty dang good. Like I said, I like the fact that they're thinking outside the box with this. It's a really fucking weird game, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. He's good. Uh, Jason. It's a very unique fighting game. So, uh, could have been a lot worse. We saw a lot worse. Uh, like Billy. War Gods. Oh, yeah, Billy. And that other one. This would have been a game that I would have picked up. Because it probably would have been in the bargain bin, and then I would have been pleasantly surprised by it. Yeah, uh, as I was saying during gameplay, um, I appreciate any game that'll take a genre and put it on its ear and do something different with it. And that's exactly what we have here. We have a game, a fighting game, that has elements of amateur wrestling in it. Um... And karate fighting in it, and it's it's actually a lot of fun to play. It is extremely fun to play. Um, it, this is one of the better fighting games that you'll probably play on the N64. Uh, I don't know that it's Mortal Kombat levels or Street Fighter levels. It's not. But is it better than War Gods? Is it better than Mace or Dark Rift? Absolutely. 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 I'm actually kind of looking forward to when we get to the sequel. Uh, scores out of ten, Dane. Uh, eight. Jason. Seven. Uh, Billy. Eight. Yeah, I'm gonna give it an eight. 
On this edition of the show, we played Robotron, Bomberman, and Fighter's Destiny. This is going to be a tough one. Best game of the episode, Dane. Um, I'm going to say just squeaks by Fighter's Destiny. Jason. Uh, Bomberman. B -b -b Bomberman. B -b -b Blowing shit up all across the land. Billy. Uh, Robotron. Wow. I th mark the date and time. I think this is the very first time all three games in an episode have been picked. <laughs> this well, is you the have first. The deciding and that means I'm the deciding vote, and my deciding vote is actually going for Fighter's Destiny. Fighter's Destiny is the winner. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Retro Roulette. Uh, if you like what we do, please hit subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane, for Joan, Jason Amherst, and Billy Carter, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Retro Roulette. Good night, everybody. Good night.